Oh, uh, hey there, son. How's it going there, big guy? Ah, uh, what brings you here oh, today, you know, sport? just getting ready for our upcoming performance. Performance, 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 performance. What do you mean, uh, performance? Uh, the solar what eclipse. exactly are you, you talking about? You remember the solar eclipse, right? No, uh, no, 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 you see, you He's must be mistaken. There is no way you can anyway, block you know my powerful just agree light. Disagree to disagree, okay? My orbit has me in the perfect spot to cover you up. Mm, For, yeah. No, 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 that's just absurd. I'm the center of the solar system. No one can overshadow the you mighty know they say, sun. Cry <laughs> comes before a fall, or in this case, an eclipse. <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. I'm not falling for your tricks, Moon. Uh, okay. Not again. Suit yourself. I'll just uh, be over here getting ready for our big event. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, no, 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 hey, hey, you're blinking my life. What? Oh, 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 jeez, oh, 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 uh, how, how did you, how did you, uh -huh. how Focus did you, up. now, let's give the people of Earth this memorable experience. Okay, okay, fine, all right, but don't let this go to your head. Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, my friend, to the road we used to roam. The sound is strung in guitars and stories yet untold With a twinkle in our eyes and a fire in our souls Welcome back to The Cosmic Companion. I'm James G. Maynard. Oh yeah! This week we're providing you with a viewing guide to the solar eclipse happening over much of North America on Monday the 8th of April. Uh, sit back and enjoy. Take notes. There will be a test later. Maybe. Nah, it's only a quiz. Get ready for an incredible celestial event on the 8th of April, a solar eclipse. Now, as the moon lines up perfectly between the Earth and the sun, parts of North America will experience a spectacular show, and we're here to help you make the most of it. Uh, first things first. Finding the eclipse times in your area. Uh, the celestial dance of the sun and moon will be seen at different times depending on your location, so it's essential to know the schedule. Turn to reliable sources like NASA or time and date to determine the best times for your area. Uh, remember, eclipses are on their own celestial clock, so double check the times as the event approaches. Next, and most importantly, let's talk safety. Uh, your eyes are precious, so protect them. Even during an eclipse, the sun's rays can cause serious damage, so never look directly at it. Instead, use special certified eclipse glasses or create a pinhole camera. To make one, grab a piece of cardboard, poke a hole through it, and let the sun's rays project through the hole onto another surface. Voila! A homemade solar eclipse viewer. Just remember, regular sunglasses or smoked glass won't cut it, so don't risk it. Don't. Do. It. Viewing location matters too, even if a total solar eclipse is not visible in your area. Partial eclipses are also amazing given the right equipment to view them in detail. Uh, if the weather permits, find a spot with a wide open view of the sky. An open field, a hilltop, or even your rooftop could provide an excellent vantage point. If clouds threaten your view, you can still try to observe the eclipse. 
The cloud cover might just thin out enough in time to help you glimpse the eclipse, so stay hopeful. As the event draws closer, immerse yourself in the science and history of solar eclipses. Check out our recent episode talking with Stephen Wolfram about predicting the eclipse. This deeper understanding will add an extra layer of appreciation when witnessing the spectacle on the 8th of April. Now it's time to enjoy the show. A solar eclipse is a fantastic opportunity to connect with others, so share your experiences on social media or host an eclipse viewing party with friends and family. Why not do both? YOLO! Uh, make sure everyone's prepared with proper eye protection. If you find yourself in a location where the eclipse isn't visible, don't fret. Join the fun by tuning into live broadcasts or online streams. The solar eclipse on, on the 8th of April is a rare and remarkable display, so mark your calendars and prepare accordingly. Remember, safety is key, so protect your eyes and help others do the same. Savor the moment, share your experiences, and enjoy this celestial marvel. Happy Eclipse Viewing! Next week, there will not be an episode as we continue work on our upcoming film, The Wizard and the Scholar, or A Rapscallion Runs Amok in Rye. Check out the website at thecosmiccompanion.net to watch the first trailer. Adelaide! From James G. Maynard, director of The AI Man comes The Wizard and the Scholar, or A Rapscallion Runs Amok in Rye. Arriving summer 2024 from The Cosmic Companion. Many people believe eclipses are a sign from God. Wizards tend to hold they are a portent of things to come. Scholars east of Egypt say that eclipses like this are caused by the moon passing into the shadow of Earth. They may also hearken us to new times. Is that also a belief of theirs? It is a belief of mine. The following week, we are going to discuss the nature of extraterrestrial intelligence. We will be talking with Cy Montgomery, author of Secrets of the Octopus. Did you hear about Inky Blotchnik? No, spill the fish. Splot saw her using blue ink. What? After Labor Day? Make sure to join us starting on the 20th of April. Catch you on 420, Mon. Catch. Get it? Because I hunt fish and what were we talking about? Feel free to like, follow, share, subscribe to the show wherever you found us. You're welcome back anytime. Clear skies. Oh, welcome back, my friend, to the rhythm of the hearts. Guided by the moonlight, dancing in the dark. With every word we sing, we'll find our way back.